Welcome guys. We are going to end ladies. I was looking at my itinerary here um, to see what all I've got going on. Today is our our day one at the show. Um, we got delayed over the mountains like four hours due to an unforeseen snowstorm. How does Colorado have an unforeseen snowstorm? But anyway, got buried in Dillon and uh, drove about 35 mile an hour all the way to Grand Junction. It was not quite Grand Junction, uh, probably about 40 miles, 40 or 50 miles west of Glenwood Springs, and it started clearing up a little bit. But we're here. Uh, last night we couldn't come, so we put together kind of a, a list of things that we needed to do. Uh, job one is to get right in front of people with business cards and and our reputation and and Rod's uh, Rod Leibel who is our president and it, and he started these things you know in the 70s it, why I say that is because the company leans on his ethics because they're extremely high um, having ISO certification in your warehouses is a huge plus in any business because it, it pretty much guarantees that that customer is going to get it what they say when they say how they wanted it so it's say what you do do what you say every single time so that's a big selling point in manufacturing a lot of guys that want to have something made are pretty jittery and about the quality of products that come out it, it, it can get tough colors are off and they don't fit once they get here so we want to try to el eliminate that by bringing more manufacturing to to all all from airsoft all the way down to real weapons accessories and we have the plant we have the people um, just need to get those guys um, comfortable with what we do and and work with them um, some of those being uh, the first people that we met with today was Falcon Sports. Falcon Sports, keep an eye on them for the next, I'd say probably three months, and you're going to see some stuff come out that when you listen to players and you hire players, take their advice, because some of the parts that Falcon's coming out with are great parts, and and we're always looking to help a company like that that's being innovative, creating and bringing out new products, not just something that somebody else has done. You know, we all, we were worried uh, a couple of years back that, you know, Falcon was, they were just trying to get in to sell Airsoft and they had some Palco cyber gun stuff. And it just wasn't, it wasn't what Airsoft players and hardcore guys want. So immediately they picked up the G and G distributorship, which helped a ton. But now they're uh, with their clothing, their knee pads, face masks, goggles, and s some guns. I mean, there's some pretty incredible stuff coming from them. So watch them, and watch for some RD Innovations products maybe going into those. Um, it was a good meeting today. It was great to see Josh again. I haven't seen him since last year here at Shot, so it was nice to see him again. Uh, we met with Jimmy Beckett from Airsoft Insider Magazine. Um, for guys of you that don't know about it, it's a magazine that's dedicated completely to us and our sport. And he's got, I think we've had one write-up now for the X-Warrior parts that we make, and it was a great write-up. Um, they like the parts. I really haven't heard any bad things about the parts, so that's a great, great deal. Uh, we met with uh, Canada Evic. And this was kind of a meeting that was, you know, everybody's got some manufacturing problems that leads to big customer problems. If your source of capital comes from a product that you don't have direct control over, you can't really say that's your product, and you're, you're, you can't really stand behind it. So what, what needs to change is to find a good manufacturer that will stand behind them and help support them and bring these parts to the market without sending back ten or 15,000 guns. Actually, they can't even send them back. They're on EVIX website for a buck. They work function just fine, but they didn't pass their quality control. 
yes, Evic has quality control, and I met the man that runs it, and they know what their problems are. They didn't hide away from the subject at all. They're trying to fix it. Hopefully we can help them. We're looking forward to that. Um, hold up displays. This was kind of a neat one. Uh, real innovative uh, rack hold up and pins and arms and everything that goes along with it. It's a neat system. And I think that we can help them with some design issues. And they were really for that. So there's another good one. But we met a lot of companies today. We had six meetings. Uh, tomorrow I think I have eight. So that's going to be quite a few. That's going to be a really long day too. Um, to see what, what they might need. Uh, a lot of real steel guys. I've got three meetings set with real steel guys that are doing uh, polymer accessories. And some guys that are working on a polymer wrist system, a key mod wrist system, a ballistic one. So it'll be a good day. Um, the innovation at this show, uh, if I hadn't said that already, is incredible. People are really bringing it. It's not just butt stocks and barrel covers, you know. It's, it's, it's everything. Very inventive. Very, very inventive. Did get to stop and say hi to the Fob Defense guys again. Um, Got to hang out with uh, Jesse James for a while and pick his brain. I met him a couple of years ago. Um, he was having some problems at home, so he was kind of out of the spotlight for a while. And then he decided that guns found him. Guns found him. So uh, if there's pictures on the Internet of the Jesse James guns, check it out. They're pretty cool. Um, but he does need some stuff molded and milled. Uh, that might just be a possibility. We'll set a schedule or a meeting with him later on down the line, but very interesting stuff. Um, SHOT Show's packed. It's probably the equivalent of about 56 football fields. I was there all day, um, about 20,000 steps I imagine I would have taken, um, and I saw three-quarters of the first floor. That's insane. The upstairs is even more incredible. That's where the big fish are. Not even really the big fish. They're just they're just there. But tomorrow I'm meeting with Joanna at uh, ICS. Talk to her a little bit about what I can do for them. Um, we're going to go up. We're going to see the ASG guys. And I've got four or five smaller parts makers that, that took cards that they really want to talk about it. They may want to talk more on Friday when it's winding down, but I offered to take them to dinner tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. But the whole shooting world, every you know, everything is clicking. There's a lot of new products coming out, especially in airsoft. ICS, I think, is going to blow you away with their new guns. Um, awesome. The quality is just incredible. And we'll be right there. Hopefully we can throw some parts in there as well. But that's about it. Um, 65 sunny today, a little bit of a breeze. It's about 61 out there now. Um, beautiful night. Beautiful night. Uh, I'm going to chill out. I'm going to watch a little Duck Dynasty. I haven't seen those guys yet. I haven't been on the second floor. I stayed focused this year. Last year I kind of went all around, but I think there's 400 rows to go through, and that's just a lot of rows. Especially when you get stopped, you know, when they read your media pass, or they read your pass and see that you're a manufacturer. So, all good. Um, tomorrow I'll have the meetings that I had today. Um, I'll give some shout outs. Um, of course, I always want to shout out to Thumpy Covey. He always covers us on this, uh, always follows us. And uh, give a shout out to Jimmy Beckett at Airsoft Insider Magazine. I'll be talking to you when I get back. And like I said, it was nice to see Josh again and meet some of the other Balkan guys. Um, got to see Moses again. He kind of walked past me. I think he was headed in, but he sent me a message later about the EVIC guys. It's pretty funny on Facebook. Um, but that's it. I'm going to keep this as short as possible by saying have a good night. Have a good morning when you see this. And I'll be back about the same time tomorrow and get it posted up for you. Thanks, guys.